Hello everyone, we're going to do a little bit of a uh, Gone Home. Hope you enjoy. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Nineteen ninety A Christmas dog. <laughs> For five ninety nine. Let's put it back. We don't need the Christmas dog. Woof, it's dark. Okay, Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Is that like a Dear John letter? go. We got a lamp out here. Hey, there's the house key. Oh, okay. So we got our passport. We got our boarding pass. We got a house key. pick up our bags. I guess we're just going to leave them outside. Directions to work from new house. Left on grab tree, right on bullhorn, exit into 47 north, right onto 202 east, 
instance on right passage wage travel time hour and 10 minutes What's this? Happy birthday, Sam, Uncle Harvey. <laughs> Have a dangan cool seventeenth birthday. Why is there no mirror in the bathroom? A lot of damn band-aids. Katie's departure. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to see the new house. Calling back. Mom, da Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> Is that Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so 
Love you. See you soon. Bye. So I'm wondering if those first two messages was from mom. Oh, Sam is a girl. Okay. For Samantha. You sound creepy. Let's shut you guys. Hello? Anyone home? Hello? Damn, it's a big ass house. Hello? You at home? Hello? Hey, what's this? Have a storm warning. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that we can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. One line notebook per period, one large notebook with six divider sections. At least six pens, blue or black, and six pencils. One box of colored pencils. A standard combination lock for your assigned locker, a nutrition lunch, or $2.50 for lunch provided by the school cafeteria. Mmm, yummy. And a positive attitude. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon and again welcome Beth Balance Principal. And she crossed everything off except for positive attitude. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Hmm. What is that noise? Hi mom, dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done my Persian things, including eating. La Pente de what? And wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to de develop. When I get back, Sam, I'm bringing you back something from Shakespeare's book company since you're my favorite sister. Weird.
Oscar Mason, 60 of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He obtained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside of his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include Terrence Grimmer. That's our that's uh, our last name. Sounds like there's something in here. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. The X Files a circle. Making friends even when you're shy. Sam, this might help Dad. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone. It's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. She's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay. That sounds cool. I like the music. I'd like to keep it going. But I don't want to risk it being copyrighted. I want to light the candle. Oh, cool. Leaves. Nothing written on it. Hi, Terry. In close, please find a pioneer, whatever unit with the remote and cables. And see, according to that, there should be a 
a like a DVD or something in here but I don't see it anywhere Poltergeist and hunting hauntings find out the truth behind stories This is starting to make me think this is uh, this house is haunted. Look at the little pictures we did. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was a black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up alongside. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled at Captain Allegra. You're never going to find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back. Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled. We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you and you will see our father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Legra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Ah, that was so cute. Hey, new girl Sam, I'm Tommy. I'm in the back behind. You wave if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you can use a friend. I don't have a lot either. I don't have a lot of friends either, so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No, I don't mind. What does he want to ask? Was it your uncle that went psycho or does it run in the family? Oh, that's freaking cool. cruel, cruel, cruel. Oh, Jesus, that's dark as hell. Why is that light green? This is a big... big place. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
blink the lights blink off for no clear reason pressure on floorboards and door disrupt the current circuits so there's electrical issues oh that's the game Mom, Dad, anyone? Where are you? Sounds like there's someone upstairs walking around. Uh, John Russell opened his eyes and saw them the stars twinkling as if he were laying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even though this place was a million miles away, no, he blinked from the sleep, was looking through a carbon reinforced safety glass of the spaceship. Archimedes, yes. He was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Yeah, I guess it looks like that was a story someone was trying to write. You can do it. You can do better. Pioneer Communist New Disc, nine hundred ninety nine. Hmm. The sorta is reminding me of Ether one. But that light, why is that light green? Oh, that fucking thunder. Oh, but I don't know the combination. There's got to be something that has a combination on it. Anything that's four, four digits? Oh god, my AC kicked on and scared the hell out of me. Fuck, that's freaky. Stranger under my roof. Okay. 
having some issues understanding the little sister, it looks like. Ah, 0451. Dear Terrence, David asked me to ride to your garden if you, frankly, is more trouble than it's worth. Yada, yada, yada. So 0451. Zero, four, five, one. Okay, please find the enclosed of the original documents. Attorneys at law. Uh, possess full competence of mind. Okay, so basically it's his will saying that he's leaving it all to Terrence Greenbrier, which it seems to be her dad. And if something happened to him, then everything is to go to the children. Okay, and then this is the handwritten portion of it. This is creepy. So that's where we came from. Coupons? Coupons for what? Oh, it looks like uh, mom was a coupon clipper. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Oh, so that's probably why the VCR is gone. She, uh, she ha maybe hocked it. I wonder what kind of stuff she's in trouble for. Uh, so if you wanted to come over to my house till this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. <sighs> You know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the Psycho House. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Huh. Katie. Please, whatever you find, don't tell Mom. The attic. Huh. Sis is wanting to tell us something. Alright, let's, let's go room by room. Fuck, it's dark. Now, what is 
it? We have a bar in our house. Oh, the music room. World history. Uh, Sam, menstrual cycles. Oh, so it's a sex reproductive. Okay. I think uh, most of us know uh, how that works. They consider this the music room? I mean, it looks like a bar. Oh, ain't that creepy? Somehow I always knew that someday we see through. Now that it's happened, I just can't. That's creepy. And like I said, I would let it keep playing, but I don't want any copyright issues. Hey, what's... Oh, those are glasses. Yeah, I... Uh, what is it? I'm trying to read it. I guess that's supposed to be like vodka. Hey, another note. Can we get it? Get me. Ah, okay. Alright, to inform you, unfortunately, Mercury books. Ah, the dad or someone was a writer. Hello? Anybody here? Where the hell is the light switch in here? There we go. Okay. Creepy ass closet. Oh, hey, note. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Uh, thank you for having Danny over to your new house. He missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighter tape and I gave him permission he needs to spend less time with those games anyway no hurry and return it let Samantha know that she is welcome back to her house at any time when you live in one place your whole life your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend and Danny only got weirder over the years so moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Okay. So we got the music room done, the little closet done. Alright, so now we need to go... Huh. Why is that door locked? Why is the door in the house locked?
No, <laughs> this is so damn creepy. Oh, that's to the basement. Alright, well, let's see if this. Let's see if it's over here. Hi, look at the skull mask. The day of the dial. Nothing like coming back to your house and then having to go snooping. Is there a light switch or... Here we go. Ooh. Pretty far. Uh, dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little door brew we shared freshman year? When we were miserably, when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes. I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Ha 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 ha. Uh... Now that one letter is saying that the lights and stuff would go off by hitting certain things. Uh, I gotta turn the brightness up just a little bit. Huh, so she worked in the forestry. Hmm. That's a little better. It was giving me a headache. And that's locked. So where does that lead to? That doesn't say. Mom, Dad, Samantha, hello, anybody home? I heard footsteps up here. here so Monday is couples bowling cooking classes ballroom dancing ballroom dancing Uh, temporary personnel file transfer. Why is there like a biohazard sign on the door? Brat mobile potty mail. 
Poor Sam. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Weird sounds. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha, 17 year old, and hereby their independent and fully functional human. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal totally safe city on my own like a human being and since you may also remember that I have my own car now you really can't stop me <laughs> is that the sister being a little uh, rebellious Sam stop leaving every damn light in the house sign you're as bad as your sister <laughs> Daniel called he wants his Nintendo back Must be Sam's room. Uh, that sounds interesting. Uh, so let's, uh, yeah. I would, like I said, for music, I would let it play, but. Oh well. So here it says the Chin Lee moves, fireball, right, hold, punch, lightning kick is kick, 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 helicopter down, up kick, and air stomp down, medium kick while jumping. And there's stuff missing here. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this first period and I left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are doing is actually sending each other pages, sending each other pages on their beepers. But we're cooler than them. Because guess what? You can't put this on a beeper. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> she drew a cat with another cat on the motorcycle. That is so cute. And it looks like a UFO and stuff. Oh, it says there's two pages. Uh, your drawing of cats was good. I added in the background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick with writing, though. Ha, ha, ha. I like it. How did you know they were about to get abducted by aliens? I'm looking for Mr. Puffish right now. I feel like he would probably have a lot of cats 
also like the secret scheme is that he's watching he watches 90210 religiously I'm going to ask him about the cats after class he said he has two cats and also he's never watched 90210 but I could see in his eyes he was lying <laughs> Oh, this is one of those things that you're supposed to stare at and then you're supposed to see a picture in it. You're supposed to like look through the picture. Now oh, that one says stare and this one says scrutinize. I don't know. I've never been able to get these things to work. I had one that was a bunch of wolves and you're supposed to see that and I could never see it. I don't know what works on here but you're supposed to just stare like at one area. I swear to God, I get locked in one of these closets and I'm going to be upset. Got your number. Are you going to dance with anyone? Oh, this is rest of the story. About Captain Allegra. Man, Sam had this like in fourth grade. A collar, mitten. Did we have a cat? Oh, Samantha. S is for special, A is for adorable, M is for merry, A is for affectionate, N is for nice, T is for thoughtful, H is for honest, A is for am admirable. Aww. For some reason, I don't think that describes our sister. Oh, but we haven't found the combination. Snaggy. Kurt Cobain, 1967-1944, there's a lot of four digit numbers, this is the one me and my dad are building, 1965. Nailed it.
1995. So what was that motorcycle? 1965. Let's see if that's her. Oh, wait, is there more stuff under her bed? Let's say if 1965 is her combo. Damn. See, let's try. Kurt Cobain's What was his birth? 1967 I didn't see Ah, let's try 1888 It's gonna be I'm gonna be so mad if we have to I don't see anything else with numbers on it. Huh. Okay, may have to come back for this. Hey, Sam, you want to see Pulp Fiction? Yeah, Lamont's hilarious at 7.15. Barf. So where are we at in the map now? What was that?
Lonnie rules. Yeah, this reminded me a lot of Ether One. Creepy noise, but what the fuck? Oh, permanent red hair dye. Okay, that scared me. I thought that was blood. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. That's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Ah! This is a little confusing because it keeps going back and forth between her and her sister Sam. Mom left her purse here? Dear Mom and Dad and Sam, I am in Chanal. This is my second passage to the Chanal. I'm on my way back to London. Unknown dimension. Hmm. So they must have figured something was going on. Almost like they left in a hurry. Or like someone was going through stuff looking for something. See all the all the DVD players and stuff like that are gone. <gasps> Bras and panties. Yeah, just so you want to see some tidy whities that may not be so whitey.
Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel, Bob and I. Uh, so it might be that her mom and dad were having some issues. Take your time, I'm glad to have your good hand. Sounds like the rain. Watercolor techniques. Mom and Dad's sink. After the honeymoon. Hmm. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice they weren't able to get around to it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Why is that all red? Hey Sam, you were gonna ask me to do that to the orientation rifle. I haven't found anything that could be a combination to that locker yet.
Okay, she said we can use her room. Anything on these notes? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I would have thought there would have been something in here. Unless, like I said, you actually have to stare at this damn thing. But I don't see how it's going to work because we don't have the 3D effect. Let's see anything on this thing. May 7th, 94. So let's try 5794. 579. No. Uh, I haven't had that much drink. How many fingers am I holding up to? You better not have been reading my secret diary again. Huh? Here you go, man. Huh. Oh, hey, there's stars up on the ceiling. They say anything? Huh. I guess I'll have to figure it out later. Now, I know I left this door open. That's fucking creepy as hell. Surely she didn't do it as five five five. Sturgeon's Lounge, 1027. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound between two songs Lonnie leaned over and said how do you like your first show I was so happy I felt tears starting in my eyes and then she up and hugged me I think she could tell all right so these this is her I guess discovering What's going on with her sister? OK, 
Okay, Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage. Mom and Dad's room and the closet. Heavens to Pepsi calculated. Oh, okay, she's doing her her costume. So why did we open the sewing table? Oh, you know what I just realized? I can zoom in. What was that on her back? 96. I was hoping that would maybe give us our our thing, but let me zoom into it. Dan, this is irritating me that I can't figure out this combination. Could it be as simple as that? 1017. 1. Oh. 1. No. Damn! I've looked all through her room. The only thing I didn't do was... I don't know if there's anything you're supposed to do with these. Or what? But I don't like that thundering. Okay. Oh, mom and dad's room. Sit on the mat.
<laughs> oh, this is damn dark. Holy cow. Ghost Hunters Investigation, Hidden Compartments Found 3, Library, Upstairs, uh, the Library, the Upstairs, Hall, and the Fourier. I did turn the light on, right? And see, I knew I was hearing shit. That just gives me the heebie-jeebies. So, says there's one across from To open. Oh, zero. Okay. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Oscar. What do you want to come by? Dad's office. So zero we know is the first number. Okay, so I haven't gone to that one area because it's freaking freaking me out. So we're going to go back downstairs. Then five oh one. Heaven to the edge, do not read part two. Hmm, that's the rest of her story. Okay, let's go do her locker. So 501 
Daddy came over today, and everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Aha! Okay. So it looks like she's been bad. She looks like she took maybe all the electronics and stuff like that, sold them. It looks like she's been stealing clothes. It looks like she is uh, having uh, feelings towards another female. So, okay. Okay, we gotta go back down. So this is really weird. Okay, so we got that one. So I need to go into Dad's office, which is on which side? The right side. Sort of, God, this game is creeping me out. Okay, The Misfits, October 9th. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous. After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Hmm. Alright, so we've looked through all these, but there is a hidden staircase in here as well. Oh. Oh, that's right. I opened it already. Okay. So I got the key to the basement. Oh god, I don't want to go near those red lights. I'm really, really... I was hoping there was a way to run. Oh fuck, that scared the hell out of me. Uh. Sam's dark room, do not enter if red lights are on. So I guess we have to go down into the basement. What can go wrong in the basement? Hmm. 
Nope, that door's still locked. Mom, Dad, where are you? Samantha, you're scaring me. Come out. Is this the right way? Yeah. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You is a scaring me. Where's the the light? Okay. This is giving me the wibby jeebies. Read note. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me in your boat on this Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I enjoyed the flavorful potato chips. It's weird. Being around your parents for that long. Ah, okay. <laughs> Alright. So her, so her little sister Sam and Lonnie are getting close. Yeah, Sam and Lonnie. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around, well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. I want to turn this light on. It's spooky in this corner. And this is our plat, Caitlin. K is for kind, A is for amazing, I is for intelligent, T is for talented, L is for lighthearted, I is imp important, and N is for nice. So that was our plat. Uh, blower two stories. Oh, it's not going through the menstrual cycle. And so oh, Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. I could have swore I heard breathing. Oh. Oh, Freddy Krueger in nightmares now. Why are we in this creepy? Creepy basements. I didn't like basements at my house. And then, <laughs> okay, dear Samantha, we would like to congratulate you on your acceptance and creative writing track. So, a program based on your profile. Oh, they'll be covering 75% of the tuitions attached to the documents. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like. You should come visit me. Stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, 
Let's just have fun while we can. Hmm. Joy is a complete understanding. Why is that of the father cut out? I gotta look at all these three ring notebooks. Dear Terrence, thank you for your copy. Dad must not be doing very good with his writing. Hey, oh, newspaper clipping. she was wanting maybe that's why she was hawking it to get the solid gold things for her and her girlfriend yeah that's the mom's certificate Oh Jesus, how big is this place? The hell? There's a room down here? Miss Samantha Greer, Yolanda DeSoto, care of Hector Dynasty. So I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking, oops. So I don't know why it went away. Today's Spanish lesson X five. Okay. I'm so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. I think probably the nature here is different. I lie here in bed and I almost feel you. Okay, so they're still writing. So that's good. She's still writing to her x-ray spec. Seems like there's a... There we go. Um, it's like a drag. The first time was in my room in the middle of the night. Nope. Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay, we didn't get through it all. <laughs> I should take a screenshot. Uh, Girl Scouts band Shetland's role model did. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, "I can sing," and they were all kind of like. And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like 
a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be in every single show. Yeah, I'll have to come back through here another time and listen to music. It sounds pretty good. I don't know if I want to flick that bell or not. And see, this is where I can't get to. The kitchen, the dining, the washroom. Oh shit, uh... Order this month. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not ready to go through there. I hear someone walking. Terry? Got the junk room. Uh, uh. Now I gotta find some of that combination. That flick the bells just got me a little nervous, but let's 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 uh Is there a save? Okay. The library is gone. Huh. This must be like the, oh, it is, it's the servants' quarters, so when they hear those things, that's why there's so many, um, like, hidden hallways, it's probably so they can get back and forth between the areas as quick as possible, because this looks like the servants' quarters. Oh, God, I'm going to drag coming through here. See, I hear breathing. Sam, I'm writing you if I'm watching falls. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Oh, this is creepy.
Oh god, I'm tingling. My hair on my arms are standing up. So I don't know why. Okay, so we've got what's this? Wipers. Had enough. Good fellow, right? Hurt enough. Kicking ass. Oh, it looks like she's actually making hers. Oh, there we go. Ready to join the revolution. Hmm. girl justice see and there's another one of these damn freaky ass green lights costumes skeletons and devils cheerleaders from the smell of a teen psycho girl house of cool stuff I'll be the psycho House girl, cool thing I want everyone in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk by. I guess they haven't heard of peripheral vision apparently. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. These must be like our, our notes because that's Like things we found. Um, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing. Okay, so it looks like Lonnie might have gotten in trouble for something and Samantha was trying to I don't get Lonnie fix it. sometimes. Like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. She's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Huh. So I'm thinking there must be a tape around here because usually when they have this is because there's a tape. Aha. Aha. Found the tape. Heavens to Betty. Like I said, I'll come back later and listen to that. Um, 
But so far, these tapes in here and the music in here sounds pretty damn good. If they were to have a soundtrack of the songs, of the pieces that I've heard so far, of those songs available, I would probably actually buy it because they have actually are pretty good. Oh, God. Dark Hallway. Give me a light. Give me a light. Okay. Is there another light to turn on? I don't like the darkness. Where's the light switch? Light switch. There we go. Okay. And I don't know why all of a sudden it's not showing the text, but that's all right. Uh, Jan, she did shampoo, shake, color, permanent, manicure. Dang, $119 to get everything? That, nah, that's not too bad, to be honest. But Jan is the mom. Uh, Bruce, due to your sorry, manager. Okay, so it wasn't my imagination. Them lights are flickering. Oh, hi. All right. So she was learning Spanish. Hey, Lonnie. Sorry, my mom was such a bitch last night. She hardly ever around. Since her forest is like an hour away. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. She's just jealous of our cool and free willing lifestyle. Sorry, I don't even bring it up. Oh, I should like. Nah, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband, Dawn, is a complete tool. So wouldn't you rather live with your mom in Florida? No. <laughs> okay. So then this leads us out back into the foyer. So we got this door unlocked. All right. Hey, what's this? Earth, wind, and fire. Oh, Jesus. Okay, how are we going to go? Read note. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. And it was like $3 American. I love it. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's probably that um, one I saw in her bedroom. So, so far... So far, it seems like the mom is busy with the forest. There's weather warnings going on now. It looks like the little sister, Sam, is in love with this girl named Lonnie. And it looks like Sam might have ran off to be with Lonnie. I got two tickets to the EWF or Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday. And I want to know why everything still looks like it's so packed up.
Okay, here is Sam. Since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for any time except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we cannot allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is in the house. This is the last word on, on the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again, Dad. And her disciplinary is disrupting inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents out of school. Suspension. Oh! I had an interesting talk with Mom and Dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like... She-Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. But they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Ah. Okay, so... The gits. Okay, so we're finding. My God, this house has just got stuff all over it. The accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. So the dad is having troubles writing. God, it's dark in this house. Okay, so where are we at on the map? We're in the dining room. And that's just a closet. That was just that. Okay. Woo. That's one lot of refrigerator. Read notes. Set and schedule working at the Crown Burger. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 3 to 7 and 12 to 6 on Saturdays. Jonathan, request your presence. The marriage of my daughter. Got some soda. We want a banana to eat. We want an apple to eat. What we got here? We got some cheese. I say we need to make a sandwich. Got some relish.
Oh. Oh no, turn them damn lights on. Okay, so we're gonna have another tape in here somewhere. Grab the book. Looks like the dad writes conspiracy stuff. Samantha and Daniel still in the woods one day. It was sunny and adventure, but they wouldn't. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. Electricity must have went off. I'm hearing residual noises. It's freaking me out. Your formal accepted letters, I write a new position as the director. Okay, so the mom's been looks like the mom's been getting promoted. Katie comes home this month, we'll call with Okay. When did, what was the date of this beginning? The 6th, the 7th, so it looks like the family is on the anniversary trip. So they may be gone right now. Because it looks like they had the wedding. And I think we called in on the 6th, Satan, we were coming in, and it's the 7th. What the hell is this? Okay, so Mr. Green, first we'd like to say, hope the missus find you well. Goddamn miracle, unknown dimension. So it looks like his one book might have actually done. So it looks like he actually had one book that worked out and looks like you might be actually getting a deal. So where are we at now? What? Why is there plant stuff in here? Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. We will be coming in the garage, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still 
Bid renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we are gone. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. Hmm, okay. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the... I can't make out that word, of the whole house till you leave. Oh, we'll have the rent of the whole house till you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its dungeon. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed. <laughs> oh, they are gone. That'll just... <laughs> okay, that's funny. Hi, Wisel Grizzly. How you doing? Um, I'm actually right now just on the PlayStation 4. I also use my computer with the capture card. But right now I'm just streaming straight from the PlayStation 4. Okay. So we did that. Oh, uh, now I gotta go into the dark stuff. Oh, there's the damn lights. booted out last show ever June 3rd um I did the story Lonnie mode going away show with her band tonight she's so incredible on stage when she was singing I could practically forget everything but we only had 48 hours left that I don't know what comes next She dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Huh, okay. Hi, Mom and Dad. Had one time at the beaches. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So... It looks like we came when our parents are still on their trip. They're due back. It's like it, we got here like at 1 o'clock in the morning. So it looks like they're due back sometime today. And our sister's now gone. Um... And her sister's now gone, and her sister's girlfriend was shipping out. So, I'm thinking she either took 
her girlfriend to the airport or she is running off with her girlfriend. So let's see. Um, home cook, Rosetta, number 15. You know, is, is there a light for the bathroom? And we're turning on every light and leaving them on. Leaves, side the door. Cleansing powders. And yes, I did serve. Um, I had a total of 14 years in. So we got some detergent. Oh, let's turn the light on for the laundry room. Uh, anything in here? The what? The slits? Nothing in the washer. Oh, I thought that maybe that was a note for me. Hi. Read note. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's a part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I'd end up. I never thought of it any other way. I wish things could have been different. Maybe someday when I settled at a base and you're done with college and are a famous writer and you're a famous writer and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed, things will be different and we can be together until then and then it's broken off. now oh the greenhouse have our own damn greenhouse my god this place is huge mom dad Sam Lonnie anybody anybody why is this house so damn empty Strong Pines. Oh, so that must be where our parents went to. Yep, they booked it. Hey, manuscript. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you so much for sensing along me for the addition. Okay. Cover copy, it's almost been 20 years. Is the president in danger? Okay. All right, night night. Thank you so much for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, no problem. I actually enjoyed it. Okay. Where we'll do it. Upstairs, secret door in the foyer. Midnight, June 5th, final preparations are complete. So there's a secret door there? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized that they were all in the past. 
and I wouldn't be anymore. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Oh no, Lonnie left her in the middle of the night. Okay, so now we gotta go all the way back around. And... To the upstairs. There's the hidden doorway, okay. I swear to God, if I look through that window and I see someone, it's gonna scare the bejesus out of me. So that's the skull that she bought her. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Whoa. Possession and exorcism. Hey, we got a new key. Take the key to the attic. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. Oh no. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Looks like they did something to try to call Oscar. Those make me nervous. Let's get those candles off that, uh... Yeah. Let's throw his picture, too. Is there a way to mess that up? <laughs> All right. You gotta go? No. Oh. Alright. Oh, that's her drawing. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong. Kick ass. I love you, Lonnie. Oh, my God. Katie, I, I fell asleep in the attic in Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. Was Lonnie oh. on a payphone? 
she'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't she couldn't think of anything but me and us and that she couldn't go through with it with the army and being apart and all of it and so she got off the bus in Salem she said Sam I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me and let's just drive until we find somewhere for us and she asked me if I could do that and I said yes yes ah okay I was so afraid I was gonna come up here and find the sister So it's this. This is her. Oh, she developed films. So shadows. How to do photography. I keep thinking there was a safe or something that I didn't get opened. Here we go. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again someday. Love, Sam. Well, that was a twist. Yeah. Can I get past this? Is there not a way to get past this? There we go. Okay. Um, the reason why I didn't want to go through that is because that's probably copyrighted and on YouTube they will um, take it off or whatever. So that was not what I quite expected. Um, because it gave so much information about our so-called uncle. I thought it was going to have more of um, a ghostly feeling or encounters with that. Uh, the parents, they're just on a trip. Yeah, it's it was really, um, this is about a two and a half hour gameplay. I went and searched through everything. Um, it was really, really different. It was more of just going through the house, finding notes, um, finding out that your parents are on a trip and they'll be back later that day. The sister thought was having issues with finding out that she is gay. And her sister took off to be with her lover. So that's not what I expected. Um... Yeah, that's, that's not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a longer game. It was really a short game. But how are you doing, Toxic Jack? What, well, Lily? Yeah, and the reason why I cut through the, 
stop the the music like I said is because of copyright issues you know YouTube is very particular about that um, but yeah so I will t be trying to stream uh, little games like this as well as a few of my other games a few times a week on here yeah. I'm glad you're doing well I'm glad you're doing well but, uh, let's see the options it didn't let's see gameplay yeah there really wasn't a It's not like there was a way to make it any harder or not. I did have to turn the brightness up just because it was making my, it was straining my eyes. But yeah, but that's, we just ended it. Um, I don't know what trophies I got from it or anything, and since I'm not on my, using the computer, I can't check unless it makes the screen go out. Oh, okay. Hi, Chopper. <laughs> yeah, this one is done. This one's done. Um, I might jump on Twitch for a little bit, just to let you know, Chopper, uh, I had to reset Meowbot. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this one because that was the game. I hope you all liked it. I'll probably go through and do a little bit of editing to it. But, uh, I will catch you all later. And if you enjoyed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, you can hit me up on Twitter at I am underscore sassy cat. I will work on getting a bot that will bring up that information for you. But thank you so very much. Love y'all. Meow. Mwah.